Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rick here, and this is an Explaindio Expedition. That's what I'm going to call it. Um, there was a gentleman, I was just reading online, there was a gentleman having the same problem I'm having. Actually, the videos that I put out here, uh, they were actually addressing the layer problem that this gentleman here is also talking about text. I'm not going to even try to pronounce the last name. Um, and here's the issue. The My understanding is that the topmost track is supposed to be the background and then everything else going down builds on that. Okay, so there's the background, then there's the middle track, and then there's the top. Now, good that it pops up when you click on it because you want to know what's in that track. And you'd like to be able to, you know, have it pop up in front so you can do any edits necessary, right? It would be nice to have a little eyeball so you can turn the track off. Because, see, like, I got a lot of stuff happening here. Well, really, I don't. Just three pieces. But if I did, if I had 20 tracks and I wanted to just turn some of them off, I didn't want to have to move them out of the way and then move them back into place. A little eyeball just to turn it off so I can, so it's hidden and I can just work on this one behind it then I can turn it back on then I'm good you know now the only way to really do that is you actually have to move the track and then click on another track uh, well let me see that works over here I believe oh yeah there it is so this is hidden because it actually haven't ran yet so if I needed to see something I have to do it this way but once I come back to the canvas it's there again and it's here where I make my edit. So anyway, the purpose of this video was about the layering. Okay, now this is supposed to be the back. That's the middle. That's the top. So if I run this, it works, right? Back, middle, top. Okay, now if I were to pull the back out a little bit from the timeline, so that means these two run, then that one. Ah, see, this pops on top. The issue is that w whatever the last animation that runs is the one that's going to end up on top. That's, that's what the deal is. So if I push this back and pull this one out a little bit, so that means this one and this one runs, then this one runs, this color thing is going to be on the top. Watch, see? So these two ran, then this one. That put it on top. Now, in most of the programs, the layer order or the track order here is respected. So it doesn't really matter when it starts. It's still going to start either in front of or behind the other components. Here, it seems that the play behavior is taking on this editor behavior, which means that whatever one is um, the last one that starts, I'm calling these animations. So the last animation that starts is the first is the one that's on top of everything else so you see this is the wood then the gold right let me start in here okay so it's not allowing me to there we go see now this is back there and then this is on top then that that's because the order now let me switch this around a little bit i'm gonna pull this one out and then this one so it should be this gold is on the bottom then the, the color piece and then the wood's going to be on top the gold on the bottom this piece of color and then that's on top see so whichever one plays last is the one that's going to be on top so I'm going to put the wood behind then I'm going to make the gold next then I'm going to put this color. So I just want, what I'm trying to do here is just make sure that they play in a certain order. This one's going to play, then that one, then this one. See? that That's the stacking order. It should be this is always behind and the gold is always on top because that's the way they're stacked in the layers, but that's not how it's working. So, again, I'm going to put the wood up and then put this gold a little bit later than the wood and see this was the first one that was next then this see so it's depending upon this uh, 
whichever one plays next okay um, now one other thing I did notice here is that a lot of you uh, may have done this with text but if you put text on the screen And see the text it actually looks like it's on top of the wood behind everything else. So I'm going to drag it on down. There it is on top. Now, what's pretty slick is that you can go in here and set the beginning and ending uh, animations. So let's just say I start with that. And then I'm going to end with uh, gravity right. Okay. So it, it comes in and then it goes right up. Comes in, goes right out. Now, the reason this behind everything else because it's starting first. Now, look what happens when I push this forward. Ah, see, now it's in front of everything. See what happened there? Because it was the last thing that started, it was in front. Now, if I push this back, now this is going to be the first thing that starts, then this, then that, then this one. Watch. See, it's behind everything. Okay, so let me bring it out back out front. All right. Now, a lot of times you'd like that to, the text to last there a little bit longer, wouldn't you? So here's what I do. I go in here to the text. I add an uh, animation point, Then I stack this right back on top. If I can get it to be right on top. Okay, then I add whatever time I want in here. So I'm going to put 48 for two seconds. So now it goes there, sits for two seconds, then it moves. Okay, so if that's not long enough, then I can just click on the text here and just, um, I think it's 70. Then my next point. So it comes on out, sits there for two and a half, close to three. Now it leaves. So these were the two things that were questioned the layer order and uh, extending text after the effect. And the same thing is true with um, with these things too. So if I said uh, zoom in, rotate, and then I want to have an out that's going to be fall out from the top, see, it's, it's going quickly. So if I want that to just sit there for a little bit longer, what do I do? Oh, well, I just shrink this down, create another one, stack it on top. And then add my time in here, which will be, um, let's go for 56. I don't know. Just making up a time. So there it comes in. It sits there for a minute. Now it goes away. So, just to share with you uh, one of the tricks that is not immediately clear, but that is uh, how it works. Now, the only thing you can edit when you're not in Canvas is the text. So, I could change the text right here if I wanted to. Okay, so I added number two there. And then I can move this out a little bit, move that out. And there we go. Now, let's see if I can get this colored thing to come on top of the text after it's played for a second. So let's see. Aha! See, even though I started it later, it, this was the last thing that played, even though it only played for a second, it was still on top of things. Now, you could have set this up so that it come on top, does it do a thing, and phase right out before the text goes. So you can have the text come out, 
Hell, this come under the text as a line or something and then fade out and the text goes out. But this is just ways to deal with the layer order not being respected and knowing that whatever the last video that starts is, that's going to be the one that's on top. Let me move this back. Oh, it's still on top of everything, so I didn't move it back far enough. So let's see, move it back to there. Okay, yeah, so it was the last graphic that started, but the text started after it, so now the text is on top. Interesting. Just thought I would share something with you regarding the layer order. And that uh, hide button would be really nice, engineers, programmers. <laughs>